Hey guys, we are here in Daytona for the 2023 Turkey Run. This is going to be the start of our third video today. And we're here with this really underrated Nova SS. So for somebody who doesn't want to pay any, get attention paid to them, they can have the Nova. But if you're so slightly better, you have a 69 Camaro, a 70 Z28, a 63 split window coupe, a 57 Chevy with a blower, a Boss Mustang over there. We got all kinds of stuff here. We are now in Outlaw Country. So stay tuned as we go through the Outlaw paddock and check out all the cars that are in the Outlaw. Now, most of the things here are gonna have blowers on them. That's why they call it the Outlaws. And so come back and check these out. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Alright guys, we are in Outlaw Garage at the Turkey Trot at Daytona International Speedway. There's slightly, there's just a slight amount of cars here. I think we only have about 20,000 cars on this infield right here. And I hope you enjoy our walk through Outlaw Garage. If you want to know why they're at Outlaw Garage, here's why. By the way, guys, this is not black. This is green. This is a dark green Shelby. If it's a Shelby, I don't know. It looks like it's Shelby. Should be. Shelby GT. There we go. It looks like a Shelby, but obviously it's had a lot of work done to it. Um, well, wood brakes, different engine information and stuff, but very, very cool. Nice charger there. 66 Dodge Charger. Here's a gasser. Uh, this is a 55 gasser. That's cool. So see how the front suspension is see how that bar just is right across the straight bar these are gassers these are all fuel gassers before they realized that by lifting the front end it will put more force to the back they would be this way so when they took off the front wheels would go up but those they rarely could barely turn they could turn maybe this much and this much because they were made to go straight down the street so very cool very cool Far and fine Trans Am. There's a B. Good. Look at that old station wagon over there. It's Galaxy Three. A beautiful 383 Super B. Ghost flames. Really sweet. Very understated. Is this yours? you can't afford a minivan you want a very understated Camaro like this with the baby seat in the front so you don't want to draw attention to yourself 
<laughs> it starts in the front seat and at the end of the day it's in the back seat. Very cool. Oh. There you go. We're junkyards and barn finds for a YouTube channel. Last year they had the outlaws here. They moved them down there. Oh, okay. That's where we're heading next is all the outlaw cars. All right, guys, this is a stage one Grand Sport Buick. I believe it's a 70 or 71, but let's look. It is a, I think it's a 72, so it's a 72. At least the uh, VIN number is a 72. So if you look at the VIN plate right here, it tells you right there, 72, ST72. That tells you the year. And these things are sweet. These things were as good and fast, and they have a 455, and they come with all the speed, relevance of a Chevelle, but a little bit more comfort on the inside. This was Buick's answer to muscle cars, was the Grand Sport GS Stage 1. Sounds like they're getting ready for the outlaw parade that's coming up they do it every year so we'll go up here the outlaw cars are all started up and hopefully we will catch them as they go out let's see or as they come back in yep there they are so the outlaws all have blown engines beautiful stingray right there
no, that is not a real Yanko. If it was, it'd be crazy to do that. All right, so we'll walk down here. A super dart. Here's a swinger dart. <laughs> so outlaw garage right there. You guys know I love red, white, and blue Javelin AMXs. So we just have to have a red, white, and blue. AMC AMX Javelin. The Mark Donahue paint job on it. That's an SST. How y'all doing? Beautiful car. So the reason they paint these red, white, and blue is so when a cop's chasing you and he's calling that there's a, a red javelin running from you and then the cop comes this way from the front, he's like, well, that can't be the same car because it's a blue javelin. So it gives you a little time to get away from people. your favorite color car. What's the interior color? Oh, thought it was roll bar. The interior color of this is racing. Got me on that one. I almost got hit by a chicken. No, turkey. 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 <laughs> So that's a turkey run, but she ain't running. She's just walking. But that's because it's two days after Thanksgiving and she can mellow out now for another year. Nice flames on that one. I'm getting signaled to come over. Pick that. Blowing Willie. Blowing Willie. Oh, wow. And then it says, if it's too loud, you're too old. Yep. No Mustangs. Only shots. Nice. He has a dinner 
bell? Oh no, a helmet. I thought that was a dinner bell. Psycho fish with a hemi. <laughs> Guys. No words. That's psycho fish. Is there anything more to say? No. This thing. is just it kind of makes you feel like you're on acid without actually doing it just looking at this I've never been on acid but I have a feeling that this is what a paint job looks like when you do acid oh this guy we've seen this one before and as it says, we can never get enough. Very understated. Very understated. I honestly don't think they have enough nitrous for this car. <laughs> Got all kinds of just craziness here. You have the nice, quiet, understated vehicles, and then you have other things which are just, I, you can't look at them. Nice Corvette. Here's a Super Sport 454 Impala. A beautiful 62 Corvette? What year? How you doing? How you doing? Good. Man, you can just like dive right into that paint job. <laughs> looks about two miles deep. It looks like it, doesn't it? I wish the sun was out. Maybe it will be. That's when it really moves. Mm. Looks pretty quick just sitting there. What, 61, 62? 58. 58. Well, we took some liberties. Oh, this isn't stock? <laughs> I thought that was one of them rare option packages. <laughs> so. I told a guy that one one time and he looked at me kind of funny. I said, yeah, this NCR is top flight. Full stock car. Yeah. He looked at me. So. <laughs> there you go. Figured I was full of bullshit. That's us. Well, Pretty sweet. Check out the blower cover on the same X. Very cool. Yeah. 
All right, guys, somehow I just feel like, you know, the old electric company, one of these things just don't belong. One of these things just don't belong. Now we've also had a couple of these cars on last year. I know this Corvette we've had on before. I'm not sure about the Camaros because there's so many Camaros. There's so many first gen Camaros, the 67 through 69. I don't know if we've ever had them on before. I know we've had this Corvette on before. This Corvette was here last year. And it's here this year. And that's because it's a really cool Corvette with a really cool paint job <clears throat> i mean look at this nose of this thing crazy i love here if you look at the paint it's the engine coming through the hood with all the pieces of the engine blowing up it's pretty cool eco boost nice so yeah this is an eco boost it only eats about seven dinosaurs per mile for this thing to run Dang. look how low that thing is that is insane all right This thing is an EcoBoost, like a 747 is an EcoBoost airplane. I believe this is an imported car. This is an import. This is an English car. So the battery or the engine size is in metrics. I believe. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 